a castle. Today, Pepper and George are going to visit a castle. What will we do at the castle, Mummy? Let me see what the guidebook says. Will the castle be good or will it be boring? It will be good. Will we see knights in armour? <laughs> George likes knights in armour. You never know, George. We might even see a dragon. A pretend dragon, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Dragons are in storybooks. They're not really real. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the castle. Welcome to the castle tour. Cars are parked at owner's risk. What does that mean, Daddy? Oh, nothing, Pepper. They always say that in car parks. Please make your way to the castle where you will be met by a knight in armour. <laughs> Hello, it is Mr Rabbit, dressed as a knight in armour. We start the castle tour here at the cannon. In the olden days, this cannon fired these heavy cannonballs high up into the sky. Daddy, is he going to fire the cannon? <laughs> no, that would be crazy. Right, let's fire the cannon. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! <laughs> that almost hit our car. Well, we do say cars are parked at owner's risk. On with the tour. You are going to see the wonders of the castle. Eat a real medieval banquet? Wow, a real medieval banquet. It sounds delicious. And meet a dragon. <laughs> this is the royal throne room where the king and queen would sit. Ooh. Who would like to have a go? <laughs> George can be king and I'll be a bossy queen. Do this, do that. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh! Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow! This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic! Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box! Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please! Uh, it's heading for our car. Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour. Hope you had a lovely time. I think that was George's best day out ever. <laughs> George loves castles. Everyone loves castles. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are doing nursery rhymes. Ooh! Who has a favourite nursery rhyme? My favourite is Mary Had a Little Lamb. Oh, yes! Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white. 
to snow And everywhere that Mary went Mary went, Mary went And everywhere that Mary went The lamb was sure to go <laughs> <laughs> I like that one It had a sheep in it <laughs> That was lovely, Peppa Thank you Who else has a favourite nursery rhyme? I like Little Bo Peep and can you sing, Little Bo Peep? Yes, and it goes like this. <gasps> little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. I don't like that one. It's about sheep getting lost. It's too sad. Yes. Does anyone know a nursery rhyme that isn't about sheep? Me, me. Yes, Pedro. <gasps> ba ba black sheep. Oh, sorry. I know one about a cat. Oh, splendid candy. Can you share it with us? <coughs> hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Mm. The little dog loved to see such fun, <laughs> and the dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> Dishes <laughs> running away with spoons? And cows jumping over moons? Crazy stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I know a rhyme about a mouse. Very good, Freddy. Hickory dickory dog. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one makes a lot more sense. Mice do like to run around. Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme that has numbers in it. Excellent, Wendy. Please share it with the class. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. <laughs> Oh, the poor little fish was frightened. It was kind to throw it back. Madam Gazelle? Yes, Pedro? I like Robin Hood. OK. And does Robin Hood have a rhyme? Yes. Robin Hood lived in a wood. He was very good at jumping in mud. <laughs> very good, Pedro. I made it up myself. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme about marching. <laughs> we have to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill when he marched them down again. And when they Good exercise. Madam Gazelle, do you have a favourite nursery rhyme? But of course, Pedro. Would you all like to sing it with me? Yes, please. Everybody, hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of poses, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. <laughs> Peppa loves nursery rhymes. Everybody loves nursery rhymes. The market. It is a lovely sunny day and the market has come to town. Apples, apples, get your apples here. Cheese, a smelly cheese. Fish, nice fresh fish. Each market stall sells one thing. Apples, cheese. Fish. Mr. Fox's store sells everything. Violins, casters, rocket engines. <laughs> Pepper and her family have come to the market to do their shopping. Fresh apples. Can we buy some apples, please? What kind would you like? Big or small? Red or green? We would like the apples that taste nice. Why don't you try one? Mmm, lovely. A bag of the lovely apples, please. Thank you. 
Cheese! Cheese! Yum, yum! George loves cheese. <laughs> I've got a very smelly cheese here. Uh, maybe Daddy Pig uh, should give it a sniff. <laughs> the smell of the cheese has knocked Daddy Pig off his feet. Wow, that's what I call a strong cheese. Good, isn't it? Mmm, yum, yum. George likes smelly cheese. <laughs> May we buy that one, please? Of course. Thank you. Fish, nice fresh fish. Can we buy some fish, please? OK, I've got trout, addock, mackerel or squid. What would you like? They all look good. How about I give you some of each? Then you can make a lovely fish pie. Fish pie? Yummy! There you go. Thank you very much. Fish, apples, cheese. Here is Mr Fox's store. Bananas, flower yeah. tools, handbags. I'm selling anything, really. What do you want? Nothing, thank you. We've bought everything we need. Apples, cheese and fish. Oh, why didn't you come to me first? I've got all of that. Do you sell apples? You've never seen apples like these. They're made of wood. Wooden apples? Brilliant, aren't they? They'll last forever. What else did you buy? Cheese. Cheese? I've got all kinds of cheese here. They don't smell of much. It's because they are plastic. Made of plastic? Yes, guaranteed to last you a lifetime. Buy one, get four free. No, thank you, Mr Fox. You bought a fish too, didn't you? I could have sold you a better fish. No plastic fish, thank you. This isn't plastic. Well, actually it is. But this is an amazing toy fish. Look, it sings. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. And it only needs 24 batteries. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Uh. Can we have one, Daddy? No. Please? We could take it home and it could sing to us all day. I'm sorry, Pepper, but our house doesn't need a singing fish. OK. Thanks, Mr Fox, but we really do have everything we came for. There must be something else you need. How about an antique china vase that will never break? Because it's uh, made of plastic. It's really lovely, but we just don't need anything. Oh, it is raining. Ah, we're getting all wet. No worries. I've got just the thing. Umbrellas! Oh, 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 we'll take them. Yes, four umbrellas, please. Mr Fox's store sells everything. You see, it's lucky you came to my stall. Yes, thank you, Mr Fox. And the best thing is, just for today, buy four umbrellas and you get a singing fish free. Oh, goody! <laughs> twinkle, twinkle. Peppa loves markets. Everyone loves markets. Miss Rabbit's taxi. Pepper and George are shopping with Mummy Pig. <laughs> That's a lot of shopping. It's for Grandpa Pig. My granny is going away on holiday. Oh, I see. That's a lot of shopping. It's everything on Granny Pig's list. Where's the car? I didn't bring the car. I didn't think you'd be buying so much. Oh, I'll call for a taxi. Hello, taxi service. A taxi will be with you shortly. Sorry, I'm just popping out. Back in a mo. Taxi service. Where are you going? Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, please. Righty ho, hop in. <laughs> So you've been shopping. Lots of shopping about these days. Shopping for this, shopping for that. Shopping, shopping, Miss shopping. Miss Rabbit, why are you talking so much? It's what taxi drivers do, Peppa. Ah. Mind you, I had Mr Potato in the back of the car the other day. I thought he'd be... Granny well. Pig is going away for a few days. Grandpa Pig will be on his own. This is a tin of food. 
to get the food out, you will need this. It's a tin opener. I know what it is, Granny Pig. If you want to boil an egg, fill a pan full of water, Yes, then... yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. We've got the shopping. But why are you not at the airport, Granny? Oh, yes. I'd better call a taxi. Taxi service. Hello, Granny Pig. I'd like to go to the airport, please. Of course. Hop in. Thank you. Daddy, can we wave Granny goodbye at the airport? OK. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. Going to the airport, are you? Yes. And actually, we're in a bit of a hurry. Hurry in here, hurry in there. Why are people always in a hurry? Granny Pig has a plane to catch. She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, are you talking like a taxi driver again? Yes. The taxi has arrived at the airport. Bye bye, little ones. Bye bye, Granny. Bye bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. <laughs> Here is Mr. Wolf. Taxi. Hop in. Bye bye, Mr. Wolf. Pepper and George love waving goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> Daddy, how are we getting home? In the taxi. Oh, it's gone. Been on holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Talk? Yes, people talk too much these days, don't they? Talk, 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 talk. And they say some people can talk for hours without taking a breath. My sister can talk. She can... Hello, taxi service. Hello, could you pick us up from the airport, please? The airport? Righty-ho. Stop! Hello, Mr Bull. Are you mending the road? No, I'm supposed to be mending the airport. But my truck's broken down. I'm going to the airport. Hop in. Have you got any luggage? Just the sand. Miss Rabbit's taxi is full of sand. Bye, boss. Hello, Hello boss. boss. Hello, lads. Here's the sand. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> no problem. Take us home, please, Miss Rabbit. Righty ho. There you are, my last taxi ride of the day. <laughs> now you can go home and have a rest. Ha! I should be so lucky. Sorry to have kept you waiting. It's just another busy day for Miss Rabbit. Move to music. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today you will use your imaginations to move to music. Ooh. What does this music make you think of? It makes me think of a piano. OK. It makes me think of music. Right. Use your imaginations. What pictures did the music make you think of? It makes me think of a cherry tree swaying in the wind on top of a beautiful mountain. Wonderful, Rebecca. So now I would like you all to imagine you are that tree, rooted to the rocky mountain top, bending in the wind. You are a tree. Your feet are rooted to the ground. Feel the wind in your branches and the sun on your leaves. You are a tree. Very good, children. I saw some lovely trees on mountain tops there. Now, listen to this piece of music. What did that music make you think of? Remember to use your imaginations. I know. Pedro? Is the answer a cherry tree swaying on the top of a beautiful mountain? Hmm, but this music was quicker, wasn't it? A cherry tree swaying quickly? Danny? It reminded me of a marching band. Very good, Danny. <laughs> yes. 
This music has a very strong beat for stepping in time. Everyone, find something to bang from the music trolley. <laughs> Imagine you are in that band, marching along, beating your drums. That's it! Marvelous marching, children. Wasn't that fun? Yes, my <laughs> The next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Ugh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Beep, beep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Zing, zong, zing. <laughs> this is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. There. Oh. Now tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> it makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man. A broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music. It was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madame Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I like the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. And me. And me. And me. OK, OK. What does this music make you think of? Me think of jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> this way! <laughs> Follow me, everyone! <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash. With a big splash here and a big splash there. Here a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish, splash. Jumping up and down. Peppa loves moving to music. Everyone loves moving to music. School project. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, who can tell me what this is? It's a castle. That's right, Danny. And for your school project, I want you to go home and make a castle. Wow! You can make your castles from any old bits and bobs you find at home. Cardboard, plastic bottles, egg boxes... Can we use glitter? Oh, please, not too much glitter. It gets everywhere. Can I make the castle big? Make it as big as you like. The only limit is your imagination. It is breakfast time at Peppa's house. Mummy, Daddy, I've got some very good news. What's that, Peppa? I am doing a new school project. Uh, school project? Oh, what is it, Peppa? I need to make a castle. OK. Why don't you use this empty cereal box? Stick these yogurt pots on the sides. And what have you got? A box with pots on it. <sniffs> no, Daddy, it has to be good. Peppa, what exactly did Madame Gazelle tell you to do? She told us to use our imagination. And a fantastic castle is what I am imagining. <sniffs> and my castle has to be big enough for me to live in. I see. Right. It is breakfast at Susie Sheep's house. Madame Gazelle told you to make a real fairy palace? Yes, with all the little fiddly bits. <laughs> Hello, sorry, but I can't come into work today. It's a school project! <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> Thanks, but I should be able to manage. This is what my castle looks like, but much, much bigger. If it needs to be big, we should use concrete. No, Daddy Pig. We just need to find a big enough cardboard box. Have we got a big box? Uh, no. 
Delivery for Daddy Pig. I don't remember ordering anything this large. Ah, uh, it's just a new light bulb. Why do they use so much packaging for these things? Shall I take the box away for you? Oh, yes. Thank you. No, Daddy. We need that box. Look what I've got. Great. That's your castle almost done. Hooray! Hooray. It's not almost done. We have to stick things on, paint it, add the glitter. Glitter? Hello? Hello. Can I speak to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. More pointy, Mummy, and it needs to be taller. How is your castle going? It's quite hard work, but my Mummy and Daddy are helping a little tiny bit. Uh, what do you think of this tower, Peppa? Very good, but it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm, maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Peppa. What do you think, Peppa? Wow, that looks just like a castle. Oh, we got there in the end. Hmm, it just needs one more thing. Glitter! Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have brought their castles back to playgroup. Wow, a fairy palace. That must have been a bit tricky for you to make, Susie. No, it was easy. <laughs> My castle is made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Pedro, did you not make a castle? I did, but it's too big to bring into school. Uh, we built it out of stone blocks. Isn't it wonderful what the children can make using just their imaginations? And my castle really is big enough for me to live in. <laughs> Peppa loves school projects. <laughs> Everyone loves school projects. <laughs> Pepper has come to visit Kylie Kangaroo in Australia. Do you think we should have told them we were coming? Hello, Mr Kangaroo! Oh, Mr Pig, what a surprise! You did say if we were ever passing, we should visit. Oh, yeah, for sure. Kylie, look who's just dropped by. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Kylie. <laughs> Hello, George. Remember my little brother, Joey? <laughs> Dinosaur. Grrr. Grrr, crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going for a picnic. Do you want to come along? Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> the kangaroo family have an aeroplane. Wow, you have a plane. Yes, we're going to fly to the picnic spot. All aboard! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yes! Then let's go! <laughs> Where are we going for the picnic? To a special place in the outback. Ooh! Flying in an aeroplane on a sunny day. Going to a picnic a long, long way away. Going to the Outback on a sunny day Flying to the Outback a long, long way away <laughs> <laughs> I love the Outback Um, what is the Outback? We're flying over it now Oh, it looks like a desert It kind of is But the Outback is also a special, magical place for us Is our picnic spot with our special picnic tree. It's the only tree for miles. <laughs> wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? Too right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the outback, so don't. Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. <coughs> oh. 
It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs. Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! Oh. If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. <laughs> You'll go, Pepper. <laughs> Good shot, Pepper. <laughs> oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. Oh, it's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. <laughs> But you are sweet too, Mrs. Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. <coughs> OK, everybody, it's home time. You're staying at our house tonight, Pepper. Yippee! <coughs> I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Pepper. Oh, goody. Night night. Night night. <coughs> Pepper and George are asleep after their first day on holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. Boomerang! <laughs> it is the end of Peppa's holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Why don't you children go and play in the garden while we pack? OK, Mummy! <laughs> this holiday is the best! <laughs> I loved having you stay, Peppa. I wish we didn't have to go back home. <coughs> Don't be sad. I've got you a goodbye present. Ooh, is it a banana? No. <laughs> Dinosaur? No. It's a thing. Yes, but it's not just any old thing. It's a boomerang. A boomerang? Boomerangs are very special to us. We've used them since olden times. Wow. Thank you, Kylie. Uh, what do you do with it? You play catch with it. Like a ball. Sort of, but when you throw a boomerang, it comes back to you. That's impossible. <laughs> I told you it was impossible. You need to throw it harder. George, you have a go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It doesn't work. You're just not throwing it right. <laughs> you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? <gasps> Watch out! Whoa! Aha! I did it! The boomerang has <laughs> flown all the way back to Pepper. <laughs> what was that? It's a boomerang, Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Oh, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. 
while you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this. Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's a good throw. Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Ah, uh, no worries, mate. That time it was my fault. Mr Wallaby really is a very nice neighbour. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Where have you all been? Ah, just throwing boomerangs, you know. Mr Wallaby's windows have all been We broken. had a great time, didn't we, kids? Yes. <laughs> I've loved having you stay, Pepper. We've loved it too, haven't we, George? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your present. Oh, yes, the boomerang. Thank you. Come back again. I will. Just like the boomerang. <laughs> Pepper has had the best holiday ever with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Wendy Wolf's birthday. It is Wendy Wolf's birthday and she has invited all her friends to a party. Happy birthday, Wendy. Thank you, everybody. Mr Wolf is blowing up balloons for the party. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow these balloons up. <laughs> I love balloons. <laughs> me too. And me. And, and me. me. And me. Everybody loves balloons. <laughs> Come on, let's dance. <laughs> Here is Mrs. Wolf. Who wants bubbles? Me, 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 me. Okay, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow some bubbles. <laughs> I love bubbles. They are a bit like balloons, but they pop when you touch them. Watch. Woo! See, I popped one. <laughs> We can always make some more bubbles. Who wants to go? Me! me, 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 me. <laughs> OK. Hooray! <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, Mrs Wolf. You have to huff. Huff. And you have to puff. Puff. And blow. <laughs> so many bubbles. <laughs> Pretty bubbles in the sky. Look at that big bubble! That's not a bubble, Pedro. That's the full moon. Ah, and you know what you do when you see a full moon? Um... You howl. Ah Why do you do that? That's what wolves do. We howl at the moon. Wendy, can you teach us how to do that? OK. First, you have to look up at the moon. And then you howl. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Wendy Wolf has taught everyone how to howl like a wolf. Ow! 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 Wow! Who did that one? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't any of us. Ow! It's a wild animal! Ah! Ow! It is Granny Wolf. Happy birthday, Wendy. Hello, Granny. You must all be Wendy's friends. How do you do? Hello, Hello Granny, Granny Wolf. Wolf. <coughs> My, what big ears you've got, Granny Wolf. <laughs> all the better to hear you with. What big eyes you've got, Granny Wolf. All the better to see you with. And what big teeth you've got. 
All the better to eat. Birthday cake. <laughs> <Hooray>! <laughs> Wendy, what's that in the middle of your cake? It is a little house made of sticks. Ah! Oh. Time to blow out the candles, Wendy. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the candles out. <gasps> You've blown the stick house down. Oh, well done. That's my go. It was quite easy. <laughs> Houses made of sticks are easy to blow down. I always forget. What's your house made of, Mr Pig? It's made of bricks. Not straw. Bricks. Oh, of course. <laughs> that was a great party, Wendy. Yes, that was my best party ever. Oh. 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 <laughs> Happy birthday, Wendy! <laughs> sailing boat. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George sailing. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig! Here are Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi. They are members of the sailing club. Hello, we're just going out for a sail. It's a bit early for sailing. Yes, you can't go sailing now. Thank you for your advice. See you later. Grandpa, your friend said that we can't go sailing yet. They don't know what they're talking about. Oh, bother. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the mud. There's no water, Grandpa. Uh, yes, the tide seems to be out. So we can't go sailing? Don't worry. The water will come back again soon and the boat will rise up. The water is coming back. It certainly is. The water is lifting Grandpa's boat out of the mud. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. Let's go sailing. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> I love sailing. Oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Are you OK, though? Do you need any help or advice, old chap? We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. Grandpa, they're going quicker than us. There's no need to hurry when you're sailing. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobbing, bobbing, bobbing. <laughs> <laughs> Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Time to head back if you don't want to miss the tide. If you leave it too late, you'll get stuck in the mud. Ha-ha! <laughs> right you are. <sniffs> Goodbye. I don't listen to them. I know more about the tides than they ever will. <laughs> the boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. Oh, we've stopped bobbing. Ah, the tide seems to have gone out. Are we stuck in the mud, Grandpa? Yes, but only until the tide changes. Then the water will lift us up again. When will the water come back? Uh, tomorrow morning. Oh. We'll just have to spend the night on the boat. A sleepover. Hooray! <laughs> I'd better give Granny Pig a call. Hello? Hello, Granny Pig. We've decided to spend the night out on the boat. <laughs> you mean you've got the tides wrong? No, no, of course not. I, I just... We're uh... stuck in the mud, Granny. <laughs> I knew it. It's an adventure, Granny. We'll see you in the morning. Where will we sleep, Grandpa? Here. <laughs> <laughs> the boat has two little bunk beds. <laughs> and I will sleep on deck under the stars. Night, night, Grandpa. <laughs> night, night, Pepper and George. Pepper and George are asleep in the bunks. Grandpa Pig is asleep on the deck. The stars are twinkling in the sky above. It is morning. We're bobbing 
up and down. <laughs> Look, children, the water is back. Hooray! Grandpa Pig's boat is floating again. Time to sail home. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> the boat bobs up and down. <laughs> Granny Pig has come to meet Pepper and George. Granny Pig! Thank you. Hello, my little ones. Did you have a nice time? Yes! We got stuck in the mud and had a sleepover. <laughs> Pepper loves sailing. <laughs> Everyone loves sailing. <laughs> Pepper is going to Paris today to see her friend Delphine Donkey. Is everyone ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then, Paris, here we come. Mummy, where is Paris? Paris is in France. We go on a ferry to get there. What is a ferry? Ha <laughs> ha, you'll see. This is the ferry. Wow. <laughs> there are lots and lots of cars in here. Let's go up on deck and breathe in some fresh sea air. Look, Mummy! The boat is rocking about! Yes, Pepper. Mummy Pig doesn't like it when the boat rocks about. All this sea air is making me hungry. Who wants to eat? No, thank you. The waves are getting bigger. Here, I brought you a fried egg sandwich. Oh! Ferry has arrived in France. Remember, Daddy Pig, they might drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. You see, it's just like driving at home. Ah, cochon de la roue! Hello there! Hello! Hello. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived in Paris. Delphine Donkey and her family are here to meet them. Bonjour, Delphine. Bonjour <laughs> means hello in French. <laughs> what would you like to see in Paris? I want to see everything. Oh, it is impossible to see everything. In that case, I would like to see the real hidden Paris. The Paris that the tourists don't see. Bravo, Mr. Pig. Tell me, which part of the real hidden Paris would you like to see first? The Eiffel Tower. Ah, OK. This is the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this is busy. Imagine what the tourist places must be like. Look, Mummy, it's Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi, I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs, get your little Eiffel Towers here. The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Do not worry, Mr. Pig. We take the elevator. Going up. I'm glad that's over. Oh, no. That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you feel dizzy, Daddy Pig, just close your eyes. OK. This is as high as we can go as visitors. Let's look at the view. Ooh. These steps are going on forever. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig is not looking where he is going. He is climbing up and up and up. What a wonderful view of Paris. It's lovely. Yes. What do you think, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig? Where is everybody? Ooh. Daddy Pig is at the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Hang on, Daddy Pig. Ah. I must call for the rescue services. Here, Miss Rabbit. I am not this Miss Rabbit. 
I am Mademoiselle Lepa. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am going to get you down. Ah, I'm going even higher. What can you see, Daddy? I can see everything. <laughs> My Daddy came to Paris and he saw everything. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to talk about what you would like to be when you grow up. Ooh. You can use the dressing up box to help you decide. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Don't worry, Pepper, you have plenty of time to think about it. Okay. When I grow up, I want to be the queen, so I can tell people what to do. I see. I think I might like to be a teacher. What is it about being a teacher that you like the most, Emily? Telling people what to do. OK. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, 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 Thank Nina, you, Freddy. Nina, woo. What else do you like about being a policeman? They tell people what to do. Right. I would like to be a doctor or a nurse. Why do you think you would like that job, Susie? Because they help sick people get better. <laughs> Wonderful. And they tell people what to do. Yes, not all jobs are about telling people what to do. Oh. There are lots of other important jobs like being a builder or a poet. When I grow up, I will be a pirate. Uh -huh. Pirates sing happy songs and they go yo-ho-ho. -ho. Yes, I'm not sure that being a pirate is a job as such. Either a pirate or a farmer. Oh yes, being a farmer is much better. You would grow things and make food for us all to eat. And I'll tell all the animals what to do. Right. I will be a superhero. Being a superhero is a very important job. You have to run faster than a train, jump tall buildings and... I don't want to do all of those superhero things, but I do want to tell people what to do. <laughs> Yes, of course. <laughs> it is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Hello, my little piggies. <coughs> so tell me, what did you learn at playgroup today? Madam Gazelle asked us what we want to be when we grow up. That sounds nice. Not really, Mummy. Everybody knows what they want to be, but I don't. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up, George? Dinosaur! George wants to be a dinosaur when he grows up. You see? Don't worry, Peppa. You have plenty of time to decide what you want to be. OK. What do you do, Mummy? I work on my computer. Do you get to tell people what to do? No. Well, that's no good then. It is bedtime for Peppa and George. What do you do, Daddy? I could tell you, Pepper, but I think you'd find it a bit boring. I wasn't, Daddy. <coughs> Please tell me. Please. OK. My job is to design and facilitate strategies of function by material means in concrete. Do you like your job, Daddy? I like it, but not everyone would. Everyone is different, Pepper. Hmm. What can I do, then? Think of something you like doing. I like jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Uh, there aren't that many jobs. I, I... want to be famous for jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> I want to be famous for having a big tummy, Pepper. But that's never going to happen. But I'm very good at puddle jumping. Yes, I suppose you are. When I grow up, I will show everyone in the world how to jump in muddy puddles. That sounds like a very good idea. Night, night, Pepper. Night, night, George. Night, night. Pepper and George are falling asleep to dream about dinosaurs and puddle jumping. When I grow up. 
Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to talk about what you would like to be when you grow up. Ooh. You can use the dressing up box to help you decide. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Don't worry, Peppa, you have plenty of time to think about it. OK. When I grow up, I want to be the Queen. So I can tell people what to do. I see. I think I might like to be a teacher. What is it about being a teacher that you like the most, Emily? Telling people what to do. OK. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, Nina. Thank Nina, you, Freddy. Nina, woo. -hoo -hoo. <laughs> what else do you like about being a policeman? They tell people what to do. Right. I would like to be a doctor or a nurse. Why do you think you would like that job, Susie? Because they help sick people get better. <laughs> Wonderful. And they tell people what to do. Yes, not all jobs are about telling people what to do. Oh. There are lots of other important jobs like being a builder or a poet. When I grow up, I will be a pirate. Uh -huh. Pirates sing happy songs and they go yo-ho-ho. -ho. Yes, I'm not sure that being a pirate is a job as such. Either a pirate or a farmer. Oh yes, being a farmer is much better. You would grow things and make food for us all to eat. And I'll tell all the animals what to do. Right. I will be a superhero. Being a superhero is a very important job. You have to run faster than a train, jump tall buildings and... I don't want to do all of those superhero things, but I do want to tell people what to do. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> it is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Hello, my little piggies. <laughs> So tell me, what did you learn at playgroup today? Madam Gazelle asked us what we want to be when we grow up. That sounds nice. Not really, Mummy. Everybody knows what they want to be, but I don't. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up, George? Dinosaur. George wants to be a dinosaur when he grows up. Brrr. You see? Don't worry, Peppa. You have plenty of time to decide what you want to be. OK. What do you do, Mummy? I work on my computer. Do you get to tell people what to do? No. Well, that's no good then. It is bedtime for Peppa and George. What do you do, Daddy? I could tell you, Peppa, but I think you'd find it a bit boring. I wouldn't, Daddy. <laughs> Tell me, please. OK. My job is to design and facilitate strategies of function by material means in concrete. Do you like your job, Daddy? I like it, but not everyone would. Everyone is different, Pepper. Hmm. What can I do, then? Think of something you like doing. I like jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Uh, there aren't that many jobs. I, I... want to be famous for jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> I want to be famous for having a big tummy, Pepper. But that's never going to happen. But I'm very good at puddle jumping. Yes, I suppose you are. When I grow up, I will show everyone in the world how to jump in muddy puddles. That sounds like a very good idea. Night, night, Pepper. Night, night, George. Night, night. Pepper and George are falling asleep to dream about dinosaurs and puddle jumping. Parachute jump. It is raining and the school roof is leaking again. Didn't I fix this roof for you before, Madam Gazelle? Yes, Mr Bull, but still it goes drippity drip drip. It's probably a broken roof tile. I wonder if it's this one. Has the dripping stopped? No, it's dripping more. Me 
Maybe these are the broken tiles. Is that any better? No, it's getting worse. Hmm, this is a big hole you've got here. It's gonna cost a lot of money to fix. Oh dear, where shall we get the money to mend the school roof this time? My daddy did a parachute jump for charity. He floated down and made lots of money. Hooray! Good idea, Pedro. Hands up who thinks their mummy or daddy would like to do a parachute jump. My mummy. My, oh, my, my, my daddy. My daddy. My daddy. My daddy. Me. We need just one. Pepper and George have arrived back home. Mummy, the school roof is leaking again. Is it, darling? Yes. Madam Gazelle says it needs a lot of money to mend. Yes, yes, I'm sure it does. She asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Pepper. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, Mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for agreeing to jump from an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for, for Mummy Pig! Pig. It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry, you'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's okay, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. No, wait. That's Daddy Pig. Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. She's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Ho, ho, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig!